Hey y'all and welcome back to another video. So as you guys can tell by the title, today I'm going to be comparing the shingling method with my go-to wash and go method, which is the uh, raking, smoothing, and praying hands method. So as of lately, your girl has been liking the shingling method a lot more than I would like to admit and a lot more than I would like. So if you guys know my experience, the first time I shingled my wash and go, or the first two times I shingled my wash and go, it just took so long. Like it was just painful how long it took. It took me a little over four hours, but hear me out, the second or third time or third or fourth time that I did it, I was able to cut it down to about like two and a half hours. Um, but what has me hooked on it is just the longevity. Like I've never in my life ever gotten a wash and go that lasts me like over a week really and truly um most of my wash and goes last anywhere between like four to five days so once i started doing the shingling method and i noticed that my wash and goes could last as long as they do um yeah your girl yeah like i said has been feeling them a lot more than i would like to admit but it is what it is so i thought that i would go ahead and just compare the shingling method with my go-to wash and go method and just see side by side comparison so i'm gonna be using products that are tried and true that way we don't have to worry about you know blaming the products for anything so i'm gonna be using products from some of my faves which is curl smith i've done like i said i've done this combo before so i'm gonna be using their uh curl smith curl conditioning oil and cream i'm also gonna be pairing it with their curl defining styling souffle and then to top it off, I'm gonna be using their in shower style fixer. So if this is something you guys are interested in, then definitely stay tuned. Let's go ahead and get, jump right into it. So right now I am working on freshly washed, detangled and deep conditioned hair. Y'all, I have really been neglecting my hair these days. Like, it's not even funny. Um, Yeah, I've really just been, like I've been taking like over, wait, well over a week to wash my hair. Um. But not only that, I, my hair has just been really dry. I haven't been deep conditioning consistently at all. Yeah, I go a week without, I go over a week without washing my hair, but to add insult to injury, your girl has been like slicking her hair a lot, whether it be in a puff, a bun, like I just been like, you know, yeah, I know it's time to wash my hair, but let me go ahead and just add a little gel, slick my hair. All the things that I, all the things that I come for y'all about, like that's basically what I've been doing, but it be like that sometimes. I know it's not right and I know my hair, is in need of some TLC, which is why I did a protein treatment yesterday. So I actually used Curl Smith's um, uh, con uh, the Bond Curl Rehab Style. Hold on, I already have an open one. But yeah, so but yeah, so yesterday I really took my time washing my hair. Like I said, I used the Curl Smith Bond Curl Rehab Style um, shampooed, conditioned, made sure I deep. I actually deep conditioned my hair overnight because um, that's how mm, it smells so good. Um, I just couldn't manage uh, doing my whole wash day in one day. I just couldn't. I don't recommend sleeping with your deep conditioner frequently, but it happens sometimes, y'all. It really does. So let me go ahead and apply this um, oil and cream conditioner. So this is I'm using this as a leave-in. I'm going to go ahead and apply this all over my head, and then I will come back before I go in with my stylers. <laughs> So I finished applying my leave-in conditioner. Um, I applied my leave-in like I would any other day. I didn't do anything different in that regard. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with shingling on this side, and then this side I'm gonna do my regular wash and go method. I figured I'd get the hardest part out the way. So I'm gonna go in with their curl defining styling souffle. You guys have you seen me use this like quite a few times. So it's a really jelly-like, uh, has a really jelly-like consistency. Really, really soft hold up. I like to pair it with another stronghold gel, but I really do like the definition it gives me. Um, yeah. And with Florida's hum or Miami's humidity, I just feel like it's so necessary for me to layer my stylers. But yeah, so I'm, I'm using the raking and smoothing method for the souffle. And then I'm gonna go ahead and begin shingling with uh, the shower, uh, the in shower style fixer. Now, like, I just can't believe I'm really out here shingling as often as I am. It's crazy. Like I remember when I first did it. Well, the second time I did it, technically, um, I was like. Um, 
I was like, will I ever do this again? Absolutely not. It was a hell no for me. But that was also after spending four hours. Oh my gosh, my hair looks so good, y'all. Oh my gosh, wow. <sighs> but yeah. Ooh, the curls are juicy. I don't know why I'm acting brand new. Like, I don't know how the shingling method works, but like, damn. But I can't, I can't sit here and do the shingling method for every single wash day. It's just not happening. regular wash and go method on this side of my head but honestly both sides are popping like the definition goes crazy on both sides but obviously the shingling side is gonna have more definition and it as it should because I spent so much time on it um, but I'm gonna go ahead and dry my hair probably we'll get back to you guys tomorrow with the finished results my day two hair I'll go ahead and show you guys my hair before I stretch it and then of course once I've stretched it fluffed it picked it out all right you guys so we're looking at my day two hair that's unstretched fully dried but unstretched i haven't manipulated it so of course this this was the side that i shingled i want to say like the major differences which you know i expected this side definitely has more hold it has a little more crunch definitely you can really feel the gel cast on this side this side there's a little bit of crunch because then shower style fix it does have a pretty strong hold so on this side i do feel a little bit of crunch but once I stretch this uh, once I stretch this side out, I'm pretty confident that like I'm not gonna feel any cringe. So this side of my hair is a lot softer than this side, um, but this side is a lot more defined in my opinion, like so defined, and I feel like it's very I don't know flowy is the word. I mean maybe not because this side is flowy as well too, but like each individual curl is defined. This side has a lot more volume, a lot more fluff. Um, and of course my hair is a lot more clumped on this side. So like for example, where are they at? Like back here, for example, this is one curl that's like clumped together, right? And I love clumped curls. Like clumped curls will always have my heart. So like you see how this is just one curl that's clumped. You can see the frizz, right? But it's still beautiful, right? On the other hand, this side, I grab one of these curls in the back. You see, the curl is very defined, right? But it's not clumped. And there's like little to no frizz, literally, versus this side. So like, they're both really beautiful, like I said. Um, it really just boils down to your preference. Like, what are you looking for? Are you looking for volume on day one, day two, day three hair? Or are you okay with your hair starting off a little crunchy with a little gel cast? But then as the days go on, not only do you get a longer lasting wash and go, but eventually it does get soft. Eventually it does get fluffy, even more voluminous. Um, and of course, also like, what do you have time for? Do you have time to sit down and shingle each individual strand on your head, which is gonna take like two hours, maybe two plus hours, depending on how dense your hair is? Or do you only have time for like 45, 45 minute wash and go? You get me? So I'm gonna go ahead and stretch my hair um, and then get back to you guys for my finished results. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look. So I wanna say that like, just based off of looking at me, you probably wouldn't tell like from a distance, you probably wouldn't be able to tell that I did. I used two different methods to style my hair, but but if you get up close, definitely you can definitely see the difference, right? Definition still really popping. My hair is so shiny. I still have a little crunch on this side, but nothing unbearable like at all. Like I actually don't mind the crunch that I have on this side. This side, 
mm, maybe like the slight in some sections maybe the slightest crunch but for the most part I don't really have much of a gel cast my hair is just really soft really fluffy really clumped and just beautiful y'all like I I am loving my results loving curls with never disappoints my wash and go methods never disappoint like man like just look how juicy this side looks y'all so juicy so defined frizz where i don't know her this side yeah you got a little frizz but it's nothing you know what i'm saying personally i don't mind a little frizz because i love volume i love volume i love when my hair is fluffy and i feel like both sides of my hair are definitely voluminous probably this side a little more kind of but barely like i said it's not like oh, a huge difference but i think i'll notice more of a difference as the days go on but go ahead and let me know what you guys think in the comment section i just feel like i need to be outside somewhere like i just feel so cute this crochet top the hair everything is just giving are you guys feeling the right side of my head or are you guys feeling the shingling side more let me know in the comments and let me know what your let me know in the comments what your go-to wash and go method is I'll have the Curlsmith products linked in the description box. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you on my next video.